గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఐఎమ్ గణపతి రెడ్డి వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ సిఎస్సి డిపార్ట్మెంట్ బిఎస్ఐటిఎస్ నౌ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ఐఓటీ క్లౌడ్ బేస్డ్ సర్వీసెస్ యూజింగ్ నింబిట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ ద ప్లాట్ఫామ్ జైవ్లీ దిస్ ఈస్ అ సెకండ్ వన్ నింబిట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ also an open source platform as a service actually it is developed as a project in 2001 and it is the main platform to develop the software and hardware solutions that connect to the cloud its architecture is based on google app engine a cloud based google app engine and it is mainly a data acquisition system for process control and automation finally it is evolved into iot api and it and these nimbits mainly provides machine to machine communication capabilities that uses the protocols which are used by google tag and jabber coming to the nimbits here it enables iot open source distributed cloud it is a platform as a service which is deployed as an instance of nimbit server at the device nodes that means it acts as a server here what this nimbits do is can store and process some specific data the data means it has been a time based data or geo stamped data geo stamped data means reading from a temperature sensor based on geographic location reading the data from a temperature sensor and processing those specific data the nimbits will do and this nimbits we can deploy in google app engine or any g2e server or amazon ec2 or raspberry pi kits and it supports many of the programming languages like arduino javascript and also html nimbits.io java library as it functions as machine to machine system mainly for data storing collection and providing the logger services accessing to the historical data and coming to the nimbit server here this nimbits we represent as nimbit server actually the nimbit server comes with a class hierarchy com.nimbits.server.system and the server information with the server information of available in the java.lang package and this nimbit server is a core provides representational stage transfer web services mainly for logging and retrieving the ordinary time and geo stamped data and also it is used to record the data and share data points on the clouds that means it allows the users to record their numeric comma and text based gps data and also the data available in json format or xml formats and this nimbits api it offers various functions like accessing the public server to push and pull their data by the users and also it provides access to chart image services that can generate in a picture format of the user data here some of the nimbits features and mainly this in nimbits the edge computing locality on embedded services embedded systems that is built up of local applications and the nimbits runs rules and pushes important data up to the cloud when connected to the internet and also provides various data logging services accessing to the historical data data points and our data objects 
and some more numbered switches is the data is stored in any format that can be serialized into a string example for this is javascript object notation or extensible markup languages formats and also it filters the noise here the nimbus client what it will do is provides our in provide our internet data collection real time charts representation of data in the graphical plots and various data entry and also <coughs> here the other important task is data visualization what the sensors collected data and that data should be visualized and supports various alert subscriptions generation of alerts and sending the alerts to users in the real time and it also used to create the data objects and store them as data point series and coming to the support of this nimbit platform is already supports multiple programming languages like arduino python javascript html nimbit java io library etc especially this nimbit server it acts as a back end platform this is a diagram of various connected devices and how the data is taken from the devices how it is represent, represented as data points and how that data is deployed at the device network nodes means at the cloud or application and services here the data collected from iot or mtm devices here are the inbuilt collects timely data or geo stamped data here the nimbix is operated uh, with as two server services nimbix server and xmpp server l and the remaining are the nodes means clients collecting the data from various sensors and that data we are represented as data points child data points calculation of objects summary points alerts generation and messages storing the data in folders sub folders representing some security tokens and what this data these collected data simply we are storing in these different formats and through the internet here we represent the data and storing in the database and we have a database firewall here and these data we use the nimbit server and xmpp server storing the data here we can uh, store some request subscriptions etc and we are maintaining the data in not only in cloud here separate database is maintained which is called his2 database coming to that database his2 database actually it is an encrypted database it is a java sql database in this database the application program interface is purely in java and the main reason for using this database is so very fast and open source and also it is a jdbc api which has codebc drivers and the main intention of using this is it supports full text search and it has a multi version concurrency here these are some of the advanced features of nimbits why we are using this nimbit platform is it provides more security to our data and it has a breakthrough performance and it generates the alerts if any event occurs 
in the form of triggers generates the alerts and it has a jabbing mechanism and is the advanced feature means pushing the alerts or messages quickly or repeatedly is called jabbing whatever the data is stored in the data points here it is jabbing here each type of a message or alert simply every alert is assigned with a jabber id that is called j id and this j id is split into three parts that means it consists of main three parts one is node identifier means from where the data has been arrived it is identified with a node id and domain identifier and the resource identifier simply this jid jabber id is represented in the following format jid column node at the rate of domain and resource id every data that is placed in the folders it is represented in this format jabber and coming to the subscription features of nimbits here a user creates many subscriptions from a single point here he may subscribe to one or more points or other users or anyone's public point mainly to get the alerts here if we subscribe to a particular data point then alerts will be arised when a new point goes into alarm state then it receives the new data and mainly this nimbits what the data we collected and what the data we stored simply we subscribe in this we have a chance to subscribe for a specific data points means whenever if a sensor suppose uh, if, if you consider a temperature sensor all the data is stored in a particular data point if any user subscribe for that data point when any new data is captured by the temperature sensor means at a particular time whether it is a rainy we chance to get rain then that alert that nimbits platform will generates alert for that and the user receives that alert oh, at this point at this time rain may comes like that here coming to i'm all uh, i'm saying as data point and every data point has child points what is this data point already told it is a data which is collected from the sensor in a group of sensors means every sensor it collects some information that information is represented as a data point here these data points organize this data in number of formats or number of ways representing this data point into child points child points means sub points or some data for example if the light level is a data point then on or off of the light is child point and the light level above or below means threshold points these are another child points and the based on what the data collected at the sensor that is called a data point and for each data point they may have many child points means the cut off the upper cut off and the lower cut off those are represented as threshold values and intensity of the light value whether uh, it is high or low and coming to folders and subfolders actually these collected data points they can be in folders 
and the representation of these folders is like a tree representation that means the data points are stored in these folders and the folders are shown as hierarchical manner here the tree means the folder having several subfolders and the subfolders having several subfolders till the leaf subfolder that means simply it is a tree structure and coming to this subscription data feed already i am saying in subscription it's a special point for every user who logs the system messages events and alerts from other points mainly subscribed by a service or more oh, actually this is what i have said about rain condition the collected data from a temperature sensor at a particular point every time the temperature changes so the subscription data by the user simply alerts and routing the alerts and maintaining the data on coming to data channels here a user can create a data channel mainly what this data channel represents means system events and messages and also shows data alerts that are subscribed here the user subscribing to the data point of other users also that means we subscribe to the other data points which are already subscribed by other users here in these data channels the user observing the idle high or low alerts in the real time and the user data is just on the nimbus data point these are the various data channels data points and subfolders actually the sensor data which is collected will be represented and stored in these data points in the form of data points channels and this data collectively transmitted through iot gateway or m2m gateway to and stored in his two database which is a special database engine and providing the services with the help of nimbit server or xmpp server to the users thank you